So if you've got an ohm meter, I'll show you how you can test your block heater. Method uh, number one here, and this is my favorite method to test, but not everybody's got one of these boxes kicking around. Take your uh, multimeter, swap it to amps, plug it through the box, and check the reading. In the case of this, we got four amps draw. Fantastic, we know this block heater is now working. Method number two, take and run a wire on either side to either lead and check for resistance. Somewhere between five and 30 is good. Five and 40, anywhere there should be fine. If the value is lower, you may have a shorted out wire on the end of your plug or where it plugs into the block or another place that loves to short out is wherever you have it mounted to. And if you forget to unplug this thing a few times and scrape it back and forth on there, it can create a wear point and that can very quickly cut down one of your wires and have your block heater not working for you. Easier fix because it's just a cord. Now in the test that I do here, uh, I get a value of that doesn't change on my car. Actually, I figured I would test this at the same time. And lo and behold, mine is shot. Hers is just the cord. So mine's got a shop appointment to get that fixed. Method number three to test. You can use what I uh, like to call whistling peat. And uh, that's simply one of these testers that if you hold it next to electricity, they beep and they turn red. This will, however, not tell you if your line or your common or your ground is severed somewhere in behind. If you're watching this, you might be in the same boat I was this morning. A uh, great thing you can do if your vehicle already doesn't start, just throw on a charger as a precaution while you're figuring out which one of these things it is. Come back inside, give it a half hour, and go out there and usually your vehicle will start. Welcome to living in Canada.